Bass Primary School is in the southwest, the beautiful southwest of Western Australia. We are a rural school, uh, that's our culture, and we really want to maintain that culture, but we also want, don't want to be a rural school that's not connected with the world. How do I do that? So you can separate it. Case for Change was built around digital technologies. Mm. We had the digital technologies curriculum coming out, we had staff that were unsure of where to go with it, and we really wanted to give the best opportunity to our students. So we've kind of used that innovation process within our school that would help both students and teachers. Which resulted in us developing a series of short videos or vignettes. Hi, welcome to Best Digital today. To try and uh, skill our staff, uh, so opportunities for professional learning, but also lesson scaffolds, um, and try and get the students involved. Really develop a sense of student agency in our school. We've got an introduction, a bit like somebody in the news. Or the... And we're really enjoying it. I'm going to show you how to make a scratch image the impact, think about even this morning, I had a staff member come and ask um, if we can help out with using a green screen um, to get the students involved in communicating the spelling program uh, with parents. So that's brilliant. And that only came about because of the Innovation Partnership Project. It looks more like a pterodactyl than a sky All the videos that we made were at a sort of a, a student level, but the idea was then they would be able to go back into the classrooms and they would be accessible to teachers who were a little nervous about using technology. And the teacher would learn along with the students rather than the teacher not doing something because they weren't feeling comfortable, kind of opened up those avenues of uh, teacher development and student development. Could we copy and paste this and then just change the sound? I was at first surprised because I didn't know what to teach. It should make the sound. Amazing. I enjoy the part where I I'm actually being listened to. Views went up, the kids were telling their parents about, telling their friends, so the interest was obvious, the engagement was obvious. First go into settings and click on control settings. We have sometimes bitten off more than we can chew, and I suppose that's a whole prototyping yeah, cycle, is just putting stuff uh, together and thinking, yep, that looks good to myself and to the team. We put it out there and go, oh, that's not going to work. Part of the innovations project is scaling. So we go, okay, we kind of think, yeah, we're, we're working okay. What would it look like at another school? And it was really interesting for that other school to come because we talk a lot about process and a lot of people talk about product. You know, what's the video going to look like at the end? Well, not that we're not interested at the end, but we want to really clarify the steps and the process. And that's kind of brings you back to the innovation process, you know, really going through those steps of design. That was a real eye-opener for the other school. Uh, and now they've kind of got that uh, concept that, you know, it's a, it's, it is about the process as well as the product. The engagement's real. I mean, we look at our workshops when we have Geograph students visiting. The best listeners and the most productive kids we've had for a whole day session, and they're pretty intensive sessions, so I think that's a really good view on how, how much the kids are enjoying it. It is really, really exciting to see that passion, yeah. It's endless, I suppose, the future, um, and it's really where the students want to take it.